I mean, one of the key things that we are doing in Sambhavna is the use and promotion of herbal treatments and non-drug treatments like yoga and massage therapy for environmental diseases. Now, we see that modern medicine has its limits in treatment of environmental diseases. Modern medicine has very little to offer diseases of the brain, of the immune system, of the endocrine system that are caused because of environmental toxins. It has very little, in fact, that is effective. And the other factor is that when you, you take modern medicines, you're essentially taking more synthetic chemicals. And this in a body that already is loaded with lots of potentially toxic substances, when you do more of dosing, more, uh, uh, take more synthetic medicines that are likely to give only, only temporary relief, it doesn't make sense. What we find in, so, and the other aspect of this is most drug companies are also part of chemical corporations. What we see happening is that these uh, pharmaceutical corporations provide the medicine for diseases that are primarily being caused by another wing of the corporation due to chemical exposure. So chemical exposure causes diseases that gets take, get taken care of by pharmaceutical companies that are but part of the chemical corporations. So th this is what we call is a circle of poison. And what we are trying to do here is to find ways out of that circle of poison. And we are doing this through herbal medicines, which are known not to be toxic to the body, which are um, known in fact of, for their beneficial effects, and which we see and we test and we do that and we find and reaffirm that again and again and again, is by, we find that uh, people who have not been, have not got sustained relief from many symptoms, from symptoms of say uh, sleeplessness, backache, joint pain, fatigue, all these symptoms for which they would have to take painkillers for years together. They come here, they take a treatment of say Panchakarma in Ayurveda in, uh, and they go back fully cured. They do not have to take more painkillers. We have had people here with long history of antibiotics for urinary, urinary tract infections. These people take Ayurvedic medicines here and there is no recurrence of the problem. So what we are finding is uh, the, that it is possible to provide sustained relief through these Ayurvedic drugs. And because they do not contribute to the toxic load in the body, they are ideal because they follow uh, medicine's first principle, which is first do no harm. If you are giving medicine painkillers for 10 years, 12 years, 15 years, you're essentially causing potential harm. You're essentially contributing to the damage that has already been caused probably to the liver or to the uh, gastrointestinal system. So when you replace, and we are doing it every day with people who, people come here after so many years of taking painkillers or taking antibiotics or taking steroids, and they came here and they get uh, remarkable uh, benefit from just taking ordinary uh, plants, plant medicine. So I think that is important and I think what we are doing here potentially can help people in lots of places, people in lots of places who are, um, who have environmental diseases or industrial diseases cause basically health problems caused by exposure to industrial toxins. I think Ayurveda uh, I think Ayurveda has a lot to offer and we are demonstrating only a small bit of that potential. I think um, that just as Bhopal is not just about Bhopal, when we say that um, Bhopal should, no more Bhopal, what we are saying is that nowhere people should have to undergo what people in Bhopal have undergone. And what we are saying is that if justice is done in Bhopal, this will be all the more sure that the lives of ordinary people will be all the more secure anywhere in the world. Similarly, what happens in Sambhavna is not, not just for the people in Bhopal. I think there are very important messages for people all over the world that, 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 that are generating from this clinic. And it is that there are simple ways to treat these problems. 
there are ways in which communities can be empowered, can learn and take control over their health and that we have to think differently to get away from this circle of poison and that we cannot continue to uh, go with this, uh, with this uh, industrial system of medicine combined with the modern medical system that is in fact causing more damage to the environment and to the health and we have to find it another way and this is just one of the many ways that this quest can begin.